Hello, you guys, and welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga. Um, Finn is outside with me today, and we will see how well this goes because it's kind of an, it's not a narrow space, but it is a narrow space. So as soon as I kick him off the mat, I'm just hoping he doesn't hit my tripod. And uh, yeah, so we will just see. Hello, welcome. Glad you could make it this morning. Taking just a second to uh, let everyone get online and get settled in. So this is a great time to get your mat set up. Get yourself all settled in. Hang out with your pets or your kids or whatever you got going on at home. And get some water. It's supposed to be extremely hot today, so uh, we're going to be outside and enjoy this right now while I still can before it's so hot that I'm just going to hibernate. Because you guys know, good old Michigan also means humid. And I don't do well with that. So. Anyways, um, this is Finn. If you guys are just new and joining and if you've never met him, I'm not even sure if you can see his face right now, but he's not going to be so happy when I actually kick him off my mat. So with that being said, get another sip of your water. Come on down to your mat. Oh, so refreshing. Uh, if you got your watches, you can go ahead and set those up now. We'll probably be here for maybe 40-ish minutes, 45. We'll see. We'll see what you know is coming at me, how I'm inspired. <laughs> I like to go with the flow. I have an idea of what we're gonna do and the time frame, but sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. And when you are feeling the energy you guys are bringing and feeling what is actually coming to me in the mat, things change and that's okay. So make your way down to the floor, get in a nice comfortable seat. Uh, if you're not comfortable sitting like this, you can always put a pillow underneath of you or even extend your legs out, anything that is gonna be comfortable to you. Just keep in mind, we are different humans. So just because I've done it for 10 years, <laughs> right, doesn't mean that you have the same capability. So find what is right within your body and modify it along the way. I will give you modifications just to help you out. Um, but if something doesn't feel good, don't do it, right? Just change the pose entirely. Stand there awkwardly staring at me until I move into something you can do. So just be comfortable the entire time. So now you're officially ready. Come on into a comfortable seat. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall and go ahead and close your eyes and just take in the sound of these birds. They have been singing to me all morning, you guys. It is oh, so nice. Let's focus on that breath. So take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, press it out through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, release your shoulders at the same time. Inhale and exhale. Great, just let your breath come in and out through the nose in a nice natural rhythm. Make sure you're sitting up tall, not rounding or slouching in your spine. Loop those shoulder blades back and down your spine. And if you're new to yoga, this pose alone, you might feel some burning in through your back, right? Because we're working on muscles that might be weak. So accept that burn right now. Again, you can always just kind of shift and move as needed, but know that you are growing strength. And we just focus on that breath. We take the day that we've had so far. We acknowledge the things that have went well, the things that have not been so successful. And we just take this moment to just notice things, not call attention to them, not create any type of an emotion towards them, just knowing. Feel your body getting a little heavier into your mat. If you're like, my mind won't shut off. Well, no one's does, right? We have like over 70,000 thoughts that run through our head in a day. The trick is not giving them your attention, right? So just let those thoughts come and go and then come back to that breath. You can literally say the words in as you inhale, out, as you exhale, hold your focus right there on your breath, or you can even count your breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, 
four, and keep that going until you get to 10, and then start again. Now with your next breath, I want you to bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And as you breathe in, feel your belly pressing into your right hand. Inhale. And as you exhale, engage your abs. Press that air out. Let's do that again. In and out. One more. In and out. Great. And that's just starting to help us get to use our entire diaphragm. Instead of just breathing through our chest, which tightens everything in the upper body, which encourages that rounding forward, encourages pain and discomfort in your neck, in your shoulders, your upper back, right? The more we can focus on how to properly breathe, the more we can strengthen and have less discomfort later. So let's do that one more time. Big inhale, exhale. Great. With your next breath, I want you to feel that oxygen going all the way through your upper body. Feel your body lengthen. You might even get a slight back bend here. Inhale. Exhale. Pretend your body's an accordion. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to do one more just like that. In and out. Awesome. Go ahead and release your hands down to your lap and we'll just take three more breaths here in silence. Great job. You can open your eyes, keep your hands in your lap, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna get a little movement through our upper body before we start moving into some of those standing poses. So with that next inhale, take your arms all the way up to the ceiling, to the sky, look up, big stretch here. Exhale, release those arms down, pet your child or your animal, whatever might be close by. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, float them down. Inhale, exhale, one more time, in and out, great job. With that next inhale, bring your palms together out in front of you, send me all that energy. I know, corny, but you're welcome. <laughs> Take a big inhale in, and with that exhale, glide your right arm across your body, opening up to the wall behind you. Look over your right shoulder here. Focus on that breath. You might feel a little more tension than when we were just straight on, and that's okay. Inhale. Exhale. Engage those abs. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In. And with that exhale, glide your right hand forward. Exhale. Pull that left arm to that wall behind you. Look over your left shoulders this time. Again, sitting up nice and tall. Relax through that right leg. I'm sure it started to lift or tense up a little bit. Inhaling in and out. One more. In and with that exhale, bring that left hand forward. We're going to bring our hands right down onto our knees. So just tuck those fingers under your kneecap here. With your inhale, you're going to press your chest forward, lifting it towards the sky, towards the ceiling and look up. And I looked up just to see a beautiful hawk overhead. And as you exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, pull your back to the wall behind you, turn that tailbone up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen, come forward. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. One more, just like that. In and out. Great job. Come on up into a nice tall position and we're going to transition onto all fours. Ignore Finn. He was trying to go after a bee. 
He uh, may have some PTSD from a couple stings to the face. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bring your knees right underneath of your hips. Plant your wrists right underneath of your shoulders. Go ahead and curl your toes under as we go through our cat cows, which will be very similar to what we just did. So inhale, nice flat back here. Just look down past your nose. Exhale, let it go. Engage those abs. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward, send your hips to the sky, make sure you're pressing into all 10 fingers here. And as you exhale, pull your abs to your spine, tuck your chin into your chest, round through your upper back by pulling it up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. We'll do three more with your own breath. Last one. Great job. Come back into that neutral tabletop position here, holding into that nice flat back. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, make sure your toes are firmly planted into your mat and lift your hips to the sky. Pull your chest towards your thighs here. Press into all 10 fingers. It is completely okay if you have a bend in your knees or your heels are even lifted. That comes with time, right? If you have any tightness in that low back, it's going to strain your legs, which means you can pull everything up. <laughs> Boy, take a big inhale. And then exhale step to the front of your mat and come into a forward fold release your upper body over your lower body and while you hang out there I'm gonna let this monster inside there you go buddy because all we need is a sting to the face Ooh, so you should be in your forward fold tuck your chin into your chest Take a big inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs, straighten through your legs to the best of your ability, straighten through your upper body like you're the figure seven. Inhaling in, and as we exhale, bend those knees, forward fold. Opening up through that low back here. Inhale, glide your hands to your shins this time as we come into our halfway lift. Exhale, fold. With your next inhale, slow and controlled, stand all the way up. First, straightening through the legs, tucking that tailbone under, rolling through the low back, mid back, upper back, looping those shoulders up, back and down, and then lengthening through your neck and through your head. Stand here with your palms at your side, just looking forward. Take a breath. You can close your eyes if you'd like. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here. In and out. Inhale, bring those arms all the way up to the sky. Look up, big stretch here. And as we exhale, forward fold, slow and controlled. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms down on your mat. Step one foot back and then the other, shifting into plank, making sure your wrists are right under your shoulders. Keep your gaze just past your nose. Take a big inhale, exhale. Make sure you're pulling your abs in. You can always drop down to your knees if you need to. Inhaling in and with your next exhale, go ahead and keep your elbows into your side as you slowly lower your belly all the way down. Uncurl your toes, inhale, press into your hands, lift your upper body away from the mat. Engage your glutes, aka flex your butt muscles, loop your shoulders back and down your spine. So we can keep our spine nice and stable here. Inhaling in, exhale, curl your toes, open your knees as wide as your mat, send your hips to your heels, bring your forehead all the way down to the mat. Keep your arms extended overhead, and go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more just like that. In. Exhale. Let it all go. 
and just let that breath come in and out through the nose. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, find your flow up to our tabletop position with your knees underneath of your hips, wrists right underneath of your shoulders. Take a big inhale, curl those toes under, and as you exhale, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Focus on really pulling your chest towards your thighs and turning your biceps up towards the sky. Press into the knuckle of the index finger to really lock your arms in place. Focus on your breath here. Maybe you need to find a subtle movement, just a little bounce from side to side, helping lengthening through your legs here. Or just standing here in stillness. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, let it go. Go ahead and bend your knees, look forward, step or walk to the front of your mat, and come into our halfway lift. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, draw me a big circle as you stand all the way up. Give me a slight back bend at the top. And as you exhale, bring your hands right to your heart. And take a breath. Great. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, release them back behind. We're going to interlace our fingers here. The goal is to bring the bottoms of your palms together, but if you can't, try to create a little box here. My shoulders are wonky, so I can't even put my palms together, and that's okay. Inhale, press those knuckles towards the ground. Move your shoulders towards your spine. Lift your chest. Look up just slightly. Inhaling in. And as we exhale, begin to come into our forward fold. First stopping here at our halfway lift, pulling those shoulders down away from your ears. Exhale, fold. If this bind is not comfortable, just release. Focus here for one more breath. Big inhale, big exhale, slow and controlled. Release your bind, bring your arms all the way down in front. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms. Step one foot back and then the other, shifting into your plank. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, slowly lower, moving through your vinyasa. Inhaling into up dog and exhale back into your child's pose. Sending your hips to your heels. Release that forehead all the way down. Close your eyes and just take one big inhale in. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. And then just find a rhythm in and out through the nose that's comfortable. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. Focusing on your breath. 
inhaling in and out grounding into the knuckle of your index finger to lock your arms in the right position see if you can lift your hips a little higher or even bring your heels a little closer to the mat take one more big inhale and as you exhale bend your knees look forward and only step your left foot forward ideally in between your hands and if it's not there you move that left arm to make it outside of your left foot take a big inhale in exhale shift your body weight forward lift into your chest go ahead and lower that back knee but keep your toe curled under take a big inhale one nice big swoop take your arms up and overhead lift in your upper body focus on your breath here inhaling in turning your thumbs towards the side walls right so they go behind me and then away from me inhale and exhale inhale release your upper body forward over your leg exhale turn your palms down pull your upper body all the way back creating a goal post with your arms here lift in your chest inhale forward exhale pull it back inhale exhale one more in exhale hold it back here focus on your breath really lift in that chest and then when you're ready just bring your palms together in front of you you can lengthen through that upper body just a little bit more go ahead and curl your toes under and with that next breath I want you to turn your torso and connect that right elbow onto the left knee really extend your elbows nice and wide press your palms into one another and just feel that stretch here if you have any pressure in that back knee release your body weight forward just slightly focus on your breath inhaling in exhale engage your abs inhale exhale you can do it I know it's a tough pose one more breath here and as we exhale go ahead and release your palms all the way down to the floor curl your toes under and step that left foot back move through your vinyasa All the way back to child's pose. And we'll be here for three breaths. Just fully surrender here in that moment. And with that next inhale, find your flow all the way back up to downward facing dog. Inhaling in and out. One more big breath in. Exhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step only your right leg forward this time. Again, framing your foot with your hands. Go ahead and release that back knee down. Keep that toe curled under. Inhale. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Lift in that upper body. Exhale. Bring it forward. Take a breath here, in, exhale, turn your palms down, pull your arms back, lift your chest. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Keep it going. There we go, hold it at the back. Lift that chest even higher, Pull your shoulder blades in even closer to your spine here. And then when you're ready, lift forward in your chest. Bring your palms together right in front of you. Take a breath. And with that exhale, twist over to the right. Connect elbow to knee. Look past your hands here. Focus on your breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Engage your core. You can shift your weight forward if you need to. You can even uncurl your back toes. Find what's comfortable for you within this pose. Heck, if it's not comfortable, go into child's pose. One more breath in. And as you exhale, release your hands down, curl your toes under, step that right foot back, move through your vinyasa. 
Inhaling into up dog. And as we exhale, send it all the way back, child's pose. You can keep your knees into center this time if you'd like, or open them as wide as your mat like we've practiced. Focus on your breath, inhaling in and out. Go ahead and pull your hands back towards your shoulders if your legs are still wide on the mat. Or if your knees are in center, take your hands all the way back towards your heels. Allow your upper body to roll forward and just completely surrender here in this pose. You've earned it. Focus on your breath. Take in the sound of nature. Just allow yourself to be completely present. And bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, bring your hands right underneath of your shoulders, press your upper body away from that mat. Send your hips to your heels, fix all of your clothes if you need to. And then make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Pull your shoulders towards your spine here. Take your chin, pull it back in space. You can always take your hand, press it towards the back wall, aligning your ears right over your shoulders. Go ahead and close your eyes. We'll take a few breaths here. Great job. With your next inhale, shift your body weight forward, curl your toes under, and slow and controlled, send your weight back into your heels again. Now this time, if you feel any tension in your feet, just lift up ever so slightly, taking the pressure out. Keeping your hands in your lap or down at your side. Just focus on your breath. Find something to hold your gaze if this does feel uncomfortable in the foot. Our feet take care of us day after day, so we gotta give them a little love every once in a while. And you know if you've shown up to my classes multiple times, this is probably one of my favorite stretches. Focus on that breath and sitting up nice and tall. And as you exhale, go ahead and release forward. Send your legs to one side or the other. Bring your bottom onto the floor. Go ahead and extend your legs out in front of you. And you want to move the flesh of your buttocks out to the side to help you come onto your sit bones and rotate your legs in towards the center line. Because we naturally want to go outward and that's going to disengage your back. So internally rotate, bring your palms onto the mat right at your hips. Sit up nice and tall, even taller than you normally do. Focus on that breath. Inhale, exhale, engage your core. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you're flexing your feet towards your face. Who would guess it's so hard to sit up nice and tall with your leg that's extended? I know, right? Take another big inhale and exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. And as you exhale, slow and controlled, release your upper body over your lower body. You might need to get a bend in your knees to hold your back steady. Catching wherever you can, maybe it's your shins, maybe it's your ankles. In time, you'll be able to reach the bottoms of your feet. Take a big inhale, send your chest forward. And as you exhale, feel yourself sinking even farther forward. 
Go ahead and tuck your chin into your chest. And just focus on that breath. Inhale. And extending into that exhale. No straining at all. Just allowing your body to sort it out. One more breath here. In. And as you exhale, slow and controlled, roll all the way back up. Nice and tall in your spine. Go ahead and take that left foot. Bring the bottom of your foot into the thigh of your right leg. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold over that right leg. Again, catching wherever it's comfortable. Inhale, extend your chest forward. Exhale, release and fold. Tuck your chin into your chest, trying to bring your forehead towards your knee. And just focus on that breath. Inhale and exhale. And with your next inhale, glide all the way back up, nice and tall, and we'll switch legs. Pulling that right leg into your left thigh. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. And exhale, fold over that left leg. Inhale, send your chest forward. Exhale, sink a little deeper into the fold, tuck your chin into your chest. And just focus on that breath. Feeling your body release the tension. Inhale, glide all the way back up, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna extend our legs out in front, bringing the bottoms of your feet onto the mat. You're gonna wanna shift your hips forward just slightly. Wrap your hands around your knees here. Inhale, lengthen through your upper body. Exhale, open your arms, palms open to the sky. Focus on your breath here, pull your knees in towards one another. And as you exhale, send your body weight back, feel your abs engaged. You can hold it here if this is enough of a challenge for you. Just make sure you're not rounding in your spine or allowing your tailbone to just completely unravel. Sink your tailbone into the mat, lift your chest, keep your body nice and straight. Focus on your breath. Inhale, exhale, and if you're stable here, stay, or you can try to lift one leg and then the other. You'll feel your body shift. If you start to collapse, pull your knees into your chest a little bit more. Pull your knees in towards that center line. Inhaling in and out. If you're here in this pose with just leaning back, I want you to start to get a pulse back and forth, slow and control, keeping your spine engaged, keeping your abs engaged. If you're up here, I want you to start to tap one toe down and then the opposite. Keep your chest lifted, keep your core engaged, pull your knees into the center, and man, am I bossy. All right, three, two, one. Plant all of your feet, wrap your hands around your knees, lengthen through your spine here and as you exhale really hug your knees and tuck your chin into your chest creating a little cocoon here release your shoulders down your spine and just focus on that breath inhaling in and out inhale sitting up nice and tall again Open your arms out in front of you. Take a big inhale. Exhale, sink it back, engage your abs. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, sink it back. See if you can go two inches this time. Inhale, up. Exhale, back, keep going. Don't let your spine round. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, sink it back, sink it back, sink it back. Hold it there. And as you exhale, slow and controlled. Release your upper body over your lower body. Get a nice stretch overhead. And then pull your knees into your chest. Catch them with your hands and give them a little tug. And then find a moment of stillness, just holding your knees right into your center. Take a big inhale in and out. One more big inhale and exhale. 
Go ahead and release that left leg down to the ground. Can you tell I'm on a little deck here? <laughs> it's a good thing I'm a little person or I wouldn't fit. Take a big inhale. Go ahead and release your right palm down to the floor behind you and send that right knee over to the left side. Look towards your right hand. Try to keep that right shoulder blade down on the mat here. Inhaling in and out. With each exhale, feeling your body sink a little more into the twist. Inhale, bring it back to center, pull both knees into your chest, and give them a little tug. Holding it there in center for one breath. Inhale, exhale, go ahead and release that right leg down this time. Send your left palm to the floor behind you. And when you're ready, send that left knee over to the right side of your mat. Look towards your left fingertips this time. Focus on that breath, big inhale. And exhale. Really focus on that breath. Allowing your body to twist. No straining, no forcing the movement. With your next inhale, roll back to center. Pull your knees into your chest. Give them another tug. Holding them here in the center. Take a big inhale. Then as you exhale, release that left leg down and then the right leg. Bring your palms down to the floor. Open them up to the sky. Find something that's comfortable as we lay here. Moving into our final relaxation pose, Savasana. Go ahead and close your eyes as we focus on being still, being present, and just working on breathing. And remember, if one of those 70,000 thoughts start to interfere with focusing on that breath, just start to count the breath. One on the inhale, Two on the exhale, three, four, and keep that going until you get to 10 and then start again. With your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, you rock through your legs, wiggle through your fingers, rock through your arms, rock through that upper body, rock your head left and right, and then finally bat your eyelashes open and closed. And when you're ready, roll onto your side facing me, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in and out. With your next inhale, press yourself away from the ground. Come into a comfortable cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands into your lap and go ahead and close your eyes. 
take a big inhale in through the nose and out. And bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart center, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Be still. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, bow forward, sealing our practice. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me here again out on my back deck and enjoying nature with me. And also, um, you know, working with Finn. We knew something was bound to happen, but it's always entertaining. That's the beauty of being live, isn't it? If you're not live and you're catching this later on YouTube, please, please, please subscribe. I would love for you to keep coming back and joining this little community that we are building. So thank you all so much again for showing up today. Stay awesome humans, stay happy and healthy and hydrated, and I will see you again soon. Bye.